Hello everyone, this is Lavina and welcome to my channel. This video is about all the collection of books around ocean life that we have in our small little library. Come, let's see. The first book is Under the Sea. It is from the collection of Little World. And uh, this is not really a story book. It basically uh, tells all the creatures that actually stay under the sea and a little bit about scuba diving, a little bit about submarines and it has beautiful illustrations. The second book is about um, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. This author has really amazing books. He's the same author that has written uh, The Hungry Caterpillar. That's my little one's favorite story. This story book actually tells them how fishes really take care of their eggs and how male seahorse takes all these eggs from the female seahorse and takes care of them in their own little pouch. It's a beautiful story and also improves their knowledge to a very large extent. It has beautiful illustrations as well. But yes, and there are also a lot of facts in the story which even I wasn't aware of, like the few of the fishes also take care of the eggs in their mouth, on their back and so on. The next one is about a smiley shark. Um, this is a beautiful story about a shark which basically wants to be friends with all the other animals like jellyfish and starfish in the ocean but no one wants to be friends with him because everyone is scared that shark might eat them up and so it basically tells your little one that yes, sharks are very dangerous and they feed on lots of animals in the ocean. The fourth book is Fidgety Fish. Um, so this is also a very beautiful story with lots of illustrations again but the main motto of this story is explaining them the food chain that smaller fishes are generally eaten up by larger fishes. And the last one is my favorite, the snail and the whale. As I mentioned in my previous video, that it basically gives these little ones a moral that they can achieve anything but they have to try for it. It's a story of dreaming big and also a beautiful friendship between the snail and the whale. This one is the highly recommended one by me. So this was my collection of ocean books that we have in our small little library. And if you have any of yours, you can definitely let me know your most favorite one on this theme. If you like hearing to me, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share it with your family and friends. And I will see you next Wednesday.